Hello people and welcome back to Kona, or whatever it's called. We're at the clinic uh, now. The health clinic. What's the point of leaving it if you're just gonna... <sighs> there should be a law forbidding doctors from falling sick. Lol, well, if he dies I won't be returning, I'll have to replace him. Okay, that's great to know. Calls inventory's full. Hmm. In spite of Dr. Beaupre's goodwill, the place didn't look much like a physician's office. It could easily be mistaken for a sewing shop. Well, I need something to start a fire. Let's discard that, and I need to save. I discarded something, you stupid son of a bitch. What do you mean it's full? Fine, I'll go and drop stuff off in the bloody truck. Because I kind of want to start a care fire. Had to be taken searching this place full of oddities. Everything was important. The decor itself told a story. I kind of want to put that away so I can start a fire and I can save the game. Because you can only save the game when you have a fire next to you. Um, and I think you actually start the first fire, like, in the beginning. The cold was burning Carl. He would not hold up much longer. He had to warm himself. Yes, I know. Shill your tits. Holy hell. I need a flashlight. I'm not sure if I'm using. I, I don't know. I don't know the controls properly. I can probably tell. The good doctor, flanked by his beautiful spouse. Pure happiness captured on cardstock. Hmm. Carl recognized this woman's soulful eyes. Was it Dr. Beaupre who had hit him head on at the village border? Who knows? Uh, yeah, you can read this yourself if you want to. Okay, so this could be the girl they were talking about that they were blackmailing about. Child and syphilis. Oh my god. There was no doubt that the doctor and Hamilton knew each other very well. Rich, I'll cure him of that one day. Yeah. Doctors used light reflecting frontal mirrors to look inside the patient's cavities. That was a bit unsettling. But back then, it was pretty much always the case with medicine. Dr. Bopre had done his medical studies quite far from here. Come he was here. surely one of the first students out of the new campus to settle on the mountainside. A communist manifesto. Only a few years ago, this type of allegiance meant prison time. And even at present, the Western world was very wary of the Soviet threat. Why would the doctor own such a book? Mm. Nobody kills a rich patient to start a revolution. It didn't make any sense. He had to dig deeper still to understand. Mm. Luckily, that was Carl Faubert's specialty. Yep. A chamber pot. Oh. Fortunately for Carl, inspecting it wouldn't further this particular investigation. It's kind of difficult to get Polaroids when I don't know what I'm supposed Carl to Carl got the trembles as he imagined the excruciating pain that kind of scalpel could My no night. doubt inflict. My nightmare. Within these miserable yeah. walls, patients probably felt more like in a slaughterhouse than in a doctor's office. For the one-eyed, or for other vision problems, the eye patch was the way to go. Okay, so time to save the game. Doot. Yay, I saved it. <laughs> now if the game crashes, I won't lose all my progress. Take a little swirly swirl around the town. All the rosary, and then we can try to piece some more together. We have two more that have died that we need to find out what happened to them. And, uh, yeah. I'm not actually sure who killed Hamilton. Because I feel like with Hamilton, you could tell that it was like a... It was a murder. That was 
unrelated, I think, to this beast or whatever they talk about. Like, I think it just was cold-blooded murder. It's gonna be fun to explore, yes? It's locked. Of course it is. I don't think I have the key that I know. No, no key to that at least. It's a nice view. I'm guessing she's dead. I'll assume. Oh, my bonhomme! Je m'attendais pas à ce qu'un étrange retourne disparaître. There's actually a thing alive. Je prends plus de chance depuis que ça rôde dans ce bout là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt et puis bang 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 si ça s'approche. I was so surprised to actually see someone that was alive here. I'm really surprised. I didn't think that. That's the third time my cat has vomited on my floor today. Lovely. Eh? So yeah. Wait what? Wait. Do you can see footprints? I didn't know that. The cold seemed to be more brutal here than anywhere else. Okay. It seeped into bones and into every breath to get to the heart until it stopped. Okay, so Carl needed to be dressed in warm clothes to survive. Hmm. That's really cool. I'd never noticed that. With the footprints. That's really cool, I never noticed that. It was so cold, already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. I feel like this game is very short. I mean, it's it has, like, death to it, and it's not... Like, oh, I started up, ten minutes later I won the game. But like, it's definitely, it's definitely uh, an interesting game, and I don't think it's too short. It's definitely not like a. It's not a short game, and it's not a long game. I think it's just like medium, like a few hours. Um, but I like it. I actually really like this game. Uh, like, I don't know how do you pronounce the, the first, <laughs> the first part of it. Yeah, the f like the name itself, I don't that know. That truck had obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic, but he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. Oh. With that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. The place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Huh. Why wash dishes when clean ones within reach? Hmm. Back then, in Africa and elsewhere, people were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. In Montreal, mailboxes were blown up, abductions were carried out. Really? And violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. But around here, in the great northernmost, all a man could do is curse out loud against the faraway evil and pray for the revolution to arise. That man, by any reckoning, was from that very stock. Are you serious? I need to... At Asian Bluin, seems like that pig had a name after all. Carl now knew how to quench the drunkard's thirst. <laughs> Sherry wine. It's a white. Where the fuck do I get that? From the doctor? Didn't the doctor have like a bunch of stuff? Or am I imagining stuff? Let's start a fire so he dresses up us up. Am I just imagining stuff or didn't the doctor have like alcohol and stuff? With a homemade shooting range such as this. It wasn't hard to imagine a stray bullet ending its course inside the flesh of an unsuspecting passerby. <laughs> Granted, Carl thought, there wasn't much in the way of passersby around here. No. 
If Carl had at any point wished to get his hands on some caribou, he couldn't have wished for better than a distillery like this one. Oh yeah, I remember this. It was here, there was an invisible wall. Okay, it wasn't invisible at all. Uh, spark plug. What good was a motorless car? The mechanic sure had an odd way to go about repairing things. I'm scared. There has some music that I haven't heard before. I'm scared now. Really? No? Another worrisome victim of this ice. This one seemingly petrified in action. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? I can barely see. Okay, so it's this dude. Huh? Oh no. We well, basically have one more that we haven't seen. I think that's a female. We haven't seen how she died. Now we've seen him. So we're missing one. I guess. Where did I go? Oh, we threw something up there. That's smart. Something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach it. The week of October 5th, thought Carl. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. I don't know if I got this picture before, but I'm keeping it. I have so many... <clears throat> What's it called? So many Polaroid thingies. Oh, that's a lot of them. One headlight. Yeah, some days are right when your bed is in your garage. I agree. The shape of this machine almost straight out of star trek was out of the ordinary to say the least it felt like this thing could fly up into space at any moment i have a feeling it will it was an indisputable fact that machines like this entailed a level of intellectual finesse that carl was lacking life never ceases to amaze me i do not like this music it's actually really scaring me. Let's go in here again. We're safe. It was so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Perhaps someone was expecting an important call. In any case, that person's in for a long wait. Carl already noticed that telephone services weren't provided in this area. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? Roswell, Atamipec, same story. Large deserts conducive to extravagant follies. <laughs> If some daring person could manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. 
I wouldn't be so certain and my mouse is acting up for some fucking reason. I really need to get a new mouse, because mine is not the best. The man has a passion for intergalactic things. Back then, people were obviously scared of the Russian atomic bomb, but an invasion by extraterrestrials was a legit fear as well. Seems like the mechanic had made his choice. Can't be afraid of everything, but you can be afraid of a lot. By following the plan, Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. Hmm. I mean, the bench will have to do. That's currently my seat for the snowmobile, I think. Place bench, place track. Seems like the elements showed mercy to those nice and solid looking planks. Carl had no idea how to interpret a message like that. On the surface, it seemed like he had one half too many oh. of this puzzle. And I didn't die. He shouldn't take this testimony as gospel. The entire thing being some punishment for a murder committed by Hamilton seemed like an outlandish theory. Carl was doubtful. Carl still wasn't done with the mechanics place. Ah. Ah. Carl never thought he would be dancing with the wolves. Guess we can't go through here a second. Oh, we can go here. Well, where, where does this lead us? Secret project? Okay. I mean, let's go here. The fuck. I feel like we should have had the snowmobile for this. But, um, what to do when I couldn't find the bloody skiing thingies for it? That large antenna in the middle of the path, undoubtedly ideal in attempting to communicate with little green men, mm. was quite awkwardly placed. There had to be a lever to control it, maybe behind it. Carl would have to figure out how to reach it. Of course, the road is blocked. I guess that's fine, because, I mean, if it wasn't, then... Um, it would have given you a chance to die, basically. So it's kind of good it's blocked off, so you can't go there as you would have wanted, maybe. It's a lot of traveling, a lot of moving in this game, I'm sorry. I'll try to cut away as much as possible, you know? The electric terminals appeared to be linked together, there, 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 but go for what purpose? So that's where the generator key was hiding. All that was left was to use it. 